to That Wrestling Podcast. Welcome to That Wrestling Podcast. The good bad guys of wrestling podcasts are back talking all things of the week that was in professional wrestling. I'm Brian here. Kevin, Joe is here. And hey, didn't there used to be more of us? Welcome back to the program. Jason. Jason, how are you? Let me talk to you. (laughs) I think it was a good, good, good way to come back. It was either that or did you miss me? No. Or, oh. so, what do you want to talk about? Uh, oh, yeah, that's a classic. Mm, that's, uh, you know, it was one or, of those three. Um, fi- yeah, I, finally, Jason has come. Oh. Whoa. Uh, oh, I was going to say, I was yeah. like, yeah, that wrestling <laughs> like, got after dark. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so, um, I we're, it's a mailbag, and I am Mr. Mailbag, so I had to be here to read the emails that we got, which Uh. we'll do later in the show. (laughs) Uh, Life has been a little crazy, a little hectic. I I am back on the East Coast. Uh, Work has been kicking my ass for the last week and a half. And uh, yeah, it's good to be back. Um, But it's a a one-shot deal. It's like RBD at the Rumble, like back in the day. It was just a one-shot deal. Uh, I'll be back probably in like a month. And then I should be good to go. Uh, moving forward through uh, from like probably around the end of August uh, into September. So, yeah. Um, yeah. How, that's how, so you've been very busy with life, as you said. Ha- any critiques or thoughts? I think we've done maybe two podcasts without yeah. you. Any, any, <laughs> any, was, any feedback that you want to give oh, the three of us? Oh, there was something I texted. Uh-oh. I was listening and, and my reaction was, uh-oh. Where'd Joe's go? We got technical difficulties. <laughs> Joe is off the air. Oh, Joe, he's back. Joe said something. He's like, it was about uh, Grayson Waller. He's like, Grayson Waller didn't add anything. And I literally oh, yelled yeah. at my radio. I was yeah. like, fuck off, Joe. Like, <laughs> there come he is. on. Well, just back. because just because there's one thing he didn't do that was golden. Sometimes you swing no, and it, a miss. He's always he has been a hundred percent a plus. Uh, since he's foul been on tip. the main that roster. was a foul tip. That was a foul tip. That was a foul tip. Nah, I'm, I'm standing was... by it. But no, uh, as far as the podcast goes, I mean, like I said, I've I've just been on another planet essentially. Yeah. Like my my lifestyle has totally changed. Um, not as cushy as it used to be, and you know, I haven't really watched much wrestling. You know, I'm watching on Hulu. And I've realized Hulu, if you're not watching live, cuts out some stuff. Mm. And uh, I yeah. apparently missed the whole Maxine hip oh. toss thing that was a huge deal because um, Hulu has been cutting that out. Now, uh, this past Monday, oh. I did watch live and then uh, I got tired and then I turned it off right before the main event. But apparently there was a lot of shit that went wrong in that main event. That's uh, what they said. So, I haven't watched anything AEW because I haven't. Um, and, you know, I just, I'm glad. I, I, and the big thing here, Joe, is uh, <laughs> it is my birthday as we're recording. That's right. But my yes, present, sure my so present to, to you and the nation and the, the followers, uh, I'm back for a one night only, one night stand, if you will. That's awesome. Right. Joe, Joe actually messaged me on the Hulu version. Can you choose what they cut out? Because Joe's interested in the Charlotte package. If, if oh. such- <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. this is great. Well, I actually watched <laughs> SmackDown Live last Friday, I think. Uh, again, days oh, and nights wow. are just running together. Um, yeah. Well, it's I actually it's- learned something this week. Not to interrupt you, Jason, but I got to learn. I learned something because I'm actually on the West Coast. You tonight. are. Yeah. I am actually in California, and I have some Trading souvenirs, places. which I'll show next. I'll show <laughs> next week. I, I made a couple stops along the way, and there's a couple souvenirs I want to share, but not tonight because it's all about Jason. Um, when is it? It's know, always about me. Come on. It's exactly. always about Jason, uh, even when I'm not I know, here. I assumed Raw was tape delayed. I assumed it started at 8 p.m. Pacific time, so I got back. To, like you did all the running around thing on Monday. I got to, back to my room. About 8.05, I'm like, okay, I missed the first couple of minutes. No big deal. Turn it on. Temptation Island. It started at 5. Uh, I oh, yeah. So t- remember, remember, dummy, uh, when I was on the West Coast, I couldn't watch Raw live. 
I just so assumed I mean, it was tape delayed, and you, well, no, I didn't know what, you were DVRing it. Yeah, that's what Joe was saying. Live. It was not live. live. Not live. No, it wasn't on at 5 o'clock in the afternoon for him. That's now, what Joe saying. Company, no, it, it was on at 5 o'clock Okay, in the so afternoon. then right. certain certain cable companies do offer that AT&T U-verse where I uh, – Oh, they did not. Okay, so it's a cable company. They did not okay, offer so, it. Um, yeah, so, so the resort here – so I did watch NXT because I was in my room at 5. I'm like, I'm going to watch some NXT. I'm here, and then we're then we went out at eight o'clock. So that was yeah. nice. That was nice. Yeah, I get. Yeah. I used to get the uh, AW uh, East Coast feed on the West Coast, um, and and that was it. And everything else, I had to wait until eight o'clock Pacific time. Obviously, eleven o'clock Eastern. So awesome. Yeah, I was uh, uh, also a traveler. I was in the the Southwest, so I was on Pacific time. Uh, Raw was live for my my dad's cable, but I did catch most of SmackDown in the air, which, you know, God, God bless technology. I'm, I'm at whatever, 30,000 feet watching the trial of Roman Reigns. I can tweet. It's like, God, what what a world we live in. This is amazing. So Brian so was not on the yeah. plane ride from hell. Was not yeah. on the plane ride. <laughs> <laughs> did you- the only <laughs> plane ride from hell moment was it was my own undoing i uh before i got on the flight i bought uh, <laughs> <Ooh>. a packer <laughs> I, I bought um uh a packet of uh soy wasabi almonds and oh, a snickers no. bar oh those why? are my two snacks for the plane i love soy wasabi almonds and snickers is, is fine we get on the flight settle in flight attendant goes on goes just to let everybody know we have a nut allergy on the flight. So we will not be serving almonds today. So my, my two snacks for my like three and a half hour flight had to remain in my bags. I was like, shit. Next- I thought you were going to be a heel and eat them and be like, I don't I know. Care. I know. I thought about like, I shove them all in my mouth at once. So and don't you're just going to start so eating them and singing a lie uh-huh. by a Pearl Jam. I'm so still alive. Mm-hmm. So those sure. nuts stayed in your sack. It did. It, it they absolutely did. So I was uh, off the plane. So let's um, talk about what, what I was watching Roman. on the plane. Jay saw it live. Who knows what Joe and Kevin were doing, but we're about to find live. out. Boom. You were live. The the trial. You were you were part of the audience for the trial of Roman Reigns, which I I think I read like over that that segment. Forty two uh, minutes. Over, like yeah, and three million viewers. So people yeah. were going nuts. Yeah, um, it it ends up with, of course, Roman saying he doesn't want this anymore, but it's all a ruse, and they kick the shit out of Jimmy and send him to the hospital uh, for that big segment. That yes, forty minutes. We had a commercial break. We had all this stuff. So two parts for this question, and then um, combining that too with just the closing segment which was Jay coming out and doing the challenge to Roman all together, well over 45 minutes of bloodline. First off, just thoughts on the trial. Cause we've uh, had a trial before with Sami Zayn. We got this trial. And then with all this time on the bloodline, is it, too, was that too much? Because the rest of the show, you know, not a whole lot of time for much of anything. Well, I don't understand what the point was. What did we accomplish in 42 minutes? Nothing. There was one, only one exhibit, like exhibit A. There was. Yeah. And that's it. Like, and if it would have been Roman did give it up, that would have accomplished something during that segment. But it didn't really do anything for me. Like, it was cool. Yeah. I mean, I was looking at the watch. I'm like, wow, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Like, that's cool. But, like, I literally was like, what the fuck did that do? See, I, I didn't, I didn't mind. I I loved it. Like I'm, excuse me. I say every week, maybe not every week. I say a lot. I love the mic skills from people just as much as the entertainment in the ring. Right. I was entertained. I was fully entertained. I would have liked to see maybe Roman give it up to Jay early them go back in the end of the episode, start it, end it. And then Roman, you know, turn on Jay, take it back and say, you think you can handle this? Hell no. But Roman's tear sold it for me in that first part. Yeah, that was good. Like, I mean, he was 
he's gone leaps and bounds, right? But oh, that yeah. tear, when he looked like he was going to cry, and I'm like, okay. And then you actually saw the tear zoomed in. You saw it roll down slow. I was sold. I loved it. It was AI. And it's a long time. But it didn't. <laughs> this is the thing. Did it seem like 45 minutes to you guys? It didn't to me. I watched I the tape, so yes, it did. But it was still entertaining. <laughs> I mean, it was just it was just a long segment. Yeah. I thought it would be the close. I actually thought it'd be the end of right, uh, the so, mm-hmm. so when the Usos came out right away, I was like, oh, all right, they're doing this now. So apparently it was only supposed to be 20 minutes. That's the big uh, question. Oh. Mark. <laughs> Who greenlit 42? It's like the This Is Your Life rock segment that went for too long but had the best ratings. Yeah. Great reference that nobody knows. What no, do you mean no one knows? knows That's that. the highest oh, rated uh, segment on uh, Raw's history. If you don't know that, you shouldn't be listening to this podcast. We're on it. <laughs> All right. Take it easy. Take it easy. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you. Yeah, I know. Oh, no, <laughs> really. Welcome Happy back. Birthday. Welcome back. So aggressive. But did you like it, Joe? Yeah, it wasn't bad. It was uh, well acted. It was a, It's a three-year yeah. storyline. Here's the thing what I'm enjoying about it. It seems like an end is in sight. And it takes me back, okay, back to the 90s again with the NWO. That was a three-year uh, storyline that never ended. Never had a proper ending. They just kept rehashing it over and over again. I think we're finally going to get our ending, uh, SummerSlam. I think they're going to be moving on from it. I think this is the start of the ending of the bloodline, which, you know, then you have to look back of where does this faction rank in all time? Yeah. Yeah, we'll get to that question down the road, like you said, when maybe the book is officially closed on it. Um, Yeah, I think, you know, you can't be doing that every week. No. Um, like a- AJ Styles and Karrion Cross was like a minute 45. I think. Uh, yeah. Charlotte, terrible. Charlotte, Bianca, Oscar was just a big old brawl and they ran away. Um, That's and then fine. we did have a good edge edge and uh, Grace Waller was a lot mm-hmm. longer than I thought it was. And 15. it was a lot more competitive so than I thought it was. It yeah. was fantastic. So, so the good. sink or swim line and, and edge giving him the props afterward. That's fantastic, man. Oh, and, yeah. uh, Kind of a side note, did you see him and the rock get into it about Madison Square Garden debuts on Twitter? <laughs> yeah. Where does he where do you find that outfit? Like the, the tassels. Where does he come up with that? Halloween USA. You don't think <laughs> that's staged? Yeah, it was definitely staged. I know I'm sure it's not the real thing, but where do you find that to begin with? Of like, oh, I'm gonna put this together. I, they I don't probably know. made one. I guess, man. They're the talented bunch over there at WWE. Um the yeah, other it's like they part, know what they're too. doing. What's that? It's like they know what they're doing over there. Yeah, yeah. Well, they clearly do at the moment. Uh, except, except for reading a, a, a clock to know that you're on time. They don't know how to yes. do that. And maybe on one other thing, guys. And, and Jay, I, I give you the credit because L.A. Night, this was leading into Money in the Bank. And I remember you just kind of threw it out there casually. I don't think they know what they're doing with him. <laughs> and I And I said, well... If he wins money in the bank, they do. If they don't, I don't know. And guys, he wasn't even on SmackDown. They mm. did a uh, pre-show segment where he kind of took out Hit Row, said the catchphrase, popped the crowd, and headed on out. Um, and that view that that video clip got more views than anything Bloodline related. So, like, massive. it's it obvious they don't yeah. know what to do, but maybe in some weird way they are – Acting like they don't know when they actually do know. Well, it's tough to see the the forest through the trees. I think right now. Are you worried? Because now I'm getting worried. I'm not. No. I. You know, it's no. interesting though because all of a sudden, and I've been sending them everything L.A. Knight has ever acted in is popping up on Twitter. Yes. From the cock block video all to these. the Aldi commercial to the Triple H workout video. To yeah, which WWE reality posted show with that reality yes, show did. that uh, he did with The Rock to the time like he was Dateline Sasha Banks NBC's bodyguard. reenactments or like those types unsolved uh, mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I um, I love it. You know, oh, he did the so rounds, good. he did podcasts, and you know, whatever. The, uh, he's so good, and I've been on that Eli Drake L.A. Night Train for so long. Um, I hope something cool happens in Detroit at SummerSlam because I will be there. Yes. 
We said yeah. this last year when he made his debut as uh, Max Dupree, and um, we said that he's too talented to let something like that like put him down. <laughs> Luckily, yes. he was too talented to the point where they just moved on and let him be LA Knight again, but he'll find a way to get around anything. That's just the way he's been since he's been on NXT, since he was in uh, Impact, NWA. So you guys are a little more confident than I am because I just felt like, wow. That that was a big opportunity missed. Oh, breaking well, news, Kevin! Kevin. Breaking news. I I can't do it anymore. Joe, TMZ is reporting oh. a seagull took a man's funnel cake, and then the man shot the bird. Whoa! Oh, oh that's a big one for Jason. That's a that's a Happy win birthday, there, Jason. Did he eat the bird <laughs> on the funnel cake? I guess no. It was in Atlantic City. Good for that dude. Fuck next, birds, man. Fuck this. Next week on the pod, we will have that man on for his interview. Of <laughs> Do you remember when you hated down. birds? Oh, I still he hate went, hated. Okay. It's not. It's not past tense, Kevin. Is he breaking news? Hate hate birds. And you know what's crazy? The other day I was driving, and uh, I I don't know if it's possible. I'm sure it is, but I swear I saw a turkey on the side of the road possible. in Western Pennsylvania. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. Possible. I, I don't know if they're getting ready for things. We see them around here. Wild oh, there's man. wild turkeys in that area. God damn. Welcome Fuck to birds. the East Coast. Welcome to the Midwest. Fuck you, birds. Gobble, gobble, yeah. gobble. Roddy Piper <laughs> under there. That was awful. <laughs> so, guys, what what would you do that next with LA Knight? Because I, I thought the logical next move was the Logan Paul stuff. They're clearly doing the Ricochet Logan Paul. That's happening. And, Ooh, you know, they need to rethink fine. that with that. Last no, they don't. no, they no, don't. No, they don't. No, they you don't. Think the you, think, you think Ricochet on the mic was great? <laughs> yes. And, yeah, it was good. And, yes. You are sm- you are smoking crack and or meth because that that was we, well, we speaking of meth, on a little bit. Speaking of meth. Oh, is the, the turkey things, holding a meth bag? <laughs> no. Um, one of the weird things about moving back to Pittsburgh is when you see people. Now, I haven't actually run into somebody that like I know like to talk to, but I was in Walmart and uh, I saw oh, there's a girl, your mistake right there. I saw a girl from high school who was like pretty and popular and all that and now she looks like a method. Vindicated for us AV crew nerds that she wouldn't talk to <laughs> back in the day. Wow. Uh, wh- what would I do with LA night? Yeah. What are we doing? Let's put him on TV, right? <laughs> so he's a SmackDown wrestler. Yep. Um, yeah. I was, I was, I literally was thinking about this today. I would start a faction. LA Knight, Grayson Waller, and Charlotte Flair. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, you, you had me until the end. Well, I don't care, Joe. And I, I, know. I know I've been that's gone a couple weeks, but Joe. it's different. It's something yeah. that wouldn't be expected. They could be, you know, the high high class, the upper the, the upper class of SmackDown. They could be, I don't know, man. I mean, there's such. I mean, look, if if we're just trying to create something out of nothing, what do you have, Joe? Other than, well, let him go against Austin Theory for the U.S. title. Well, that would not. I don't don't have anything right now because it's like I was still like riding the momentum of him being like all these like video shoots that we're getting from his past. Uh, I don't. I don't think he needs a faction, but I don't know because he's on SmackDown. I don't know what where he can go. He's not going to be part of going after the Bloodline. Austin Theory seems like now a step down for the momentum that he has. Uh, Edge is clearly a face, and he's not, like has other fish to fry. I don't know what to do with uh, LA Knight. I say move him to Raw. They can make, switch the roster around. No one's going to care. What fish do does Edge have to fry? Because LA Knight and Edge could be a fun one. They could be, but it's just like, you know, I don't think that's in the cards. Yeah. I think I nothing. Know. I don't think they change anything. Maybe I don't, I don't LA like Knight, I don't you know, with LA Knight beating down a hit row last week, LA Knight could reform the West Texas Rednecks 
and they can perform oh. rap as crap. Oh, and no. you know, uh, something there. They're not. No. They're not always the best, but. Um, what was what was the idea you texted me? Uh, <laughs> Bray is <Samoan. laughs> <laughs> right, so, so, yeah. so there's give, these reports. There's these reports that Bray Wyatt uh, will be coming back. Uh, the the Bloodline storyline mm. will end at SummerSlam, uh, and then whether Jay wins or Roman wins, Bray Wyatt returns to attack Roman because uh, Roman attacked Bray at SummerSlam and won the title at Payback three years ago. So it would be the, the you know, continuing the story or whatever. But the joke I made to, to Brian is that Bray isn't coming back to hunt Roman. He's coming back to be part of the bloodline. So it'd be like a zombie Samoan, you know, <laughs> zombie Uso. Uh, <laughs> and it was funny because I was like, I made that up. He goes, where did you read that? I'm like, I made it up. I was like, it was Ooh. something like earlier in the day that I had made up. And he's like, what does that mean? I'm like, I just made it up. It, it means yeah. nothing. So I was like, ooh, that sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> I just started laughing. He's like, I made it up. I'm like, okay. All right. Yeah. That's that's a relief. I was but not if thinking. Bray Wyatt does come back and maybe he becomes the champ, which I know he doesn't need, um, it would make sense to have Bray do champion things. Like make a wish. <laughs> that could be interesting. Bring back the puppets, right? No, he no, might like, make wishes and like go, go like, visit kids. Go visit Make a Wish kids. Yeah. Bray Wyatt. And the fiend. Well, that's like no, no, don't do that. Yeah, you put the put the sweater on. Do the, the <laughs> fucking uh Mr. Rogers gimmick again. Hi, kids. That's, that's, <laughs> there's something there. There's or the Hawaiian there. shirt in the rocking chair. Uh, Let me tell you a story, kids, with the oh, uh, yeah. Pattern. Yeah, that'd be that. that'd well, be the Undertaker free. didn't. The Undertaker was quoted saying he'd prefer rocking chair Bray. I think <laughs> yes. I would prefer rocking chair Bray at this Same point man. because I'd be gone with that. Fiends played out. Funhouse is played out. Uncle Howdy's fu- and Uncle Harper played out. So I don't know. I mean, I don't really care to see Bray Wyatt at this point. No real interest because I don't think with the the direction WWE's going. Bray Wyatt, the the character would add anything to it. As I long as we like, could get a pitch black match again, right? Yes, we Mountain Dew pitch black pay per view. I still want that. All yes. the matches. Yes. I, I would accept Bray Wyatt coming back if we knew Bray Wyatt was going to be back for a while. The yes. little teases is, is what is is the worst part. There's momentum, excitement, and then it just goes, goes away. Shit. And then it's yeah. and it's like, okay, how many times can can we have that? Good point. Yeah. That's, well, that's, I don't know if we solved anything good for LA night. Hopefully they can have some better. We didn't. We talked about everyone else. I will take the blame. Everybody else. Yeah. I'll take the blame, but I've also not been on this podcast for a couple weeks. So no, I'm a, I, I don't I'm mind your practice. Waller, your Waller Charlotte triangle. It could be something. I, I, I don't oh, mind that. That's the best of the bunch. I, I, I'll, I'll spend 30 seconds. I wouldn't change a thing. If he, if he, if he's on there, yeah. uh, uh, doing a, uh, going against uh uh top dollar going on there 15 seconds on the mic going on there saying doing a promo doesn't matter little pieces that's all that's needed right now okay. there's a lot going on that show he doesn't need to throw in a 15 minute match just a little bit little bit that's it cool and time Let's take it to AEW then, friends. Uh, the MJF Adam Cole bromance continues. Uh, they are in the, the finals of this blind eliminator tag uh, tournament next week. I've enjoyed the hell out of this, but let's go around the horn. Pick one of these, one of these options for how this is going. Either number one, they remain friends and a team. Number two, MJF turns on Adam Cole. Or number three, Adam Cole turns on MJF. Kev, you want to start this one? Yeah, off? I'll, I'll start. Uh, me being happy go lucky, I would love to see them be friends for a long time, right? It's not going to happen. I would love to see Adam Cole turn on MJF and just state something like to the point of, you were going to do it to me. I got you first, something like that. Uh, but right now, I'm laughing. 
hard on that seeing seeing him do the body slam last night like it's it's golden there there's a lot to complain about ew i know we've been kind of negative on it lately that's a bright spot on that show joe what do you think of those selections i think they're just going to go with mjf turning on uh adam cole it's still a logical one it's uh makes sense and it's predictable. So I think making sense of predictability and what the fans want is what AEW tries to do. They they sometimes listen to the fans too much, but I think this one is going to be MJF turns on Adam Cole and it'll get their match at uh, all in or out, all out, either one. Any thoughts on this one, Jay? I don't know how much AEW, like I said, not too much. Right? Well, it's not even about watching or not. I just don't care. Mm-hmm. I'm, I mean, AEW. You know, again, it's it's the superest of super indie. And yeah, MJF and Adam Cole, you know, the stuff I have seen has been fun. Um, if I had to pick, let them fucking run AEW together. Let them be a yes. team. Yes. You know, I mean, you yes. could have generic white guy as their lackey. Yes. Um, <laughs> Carry my bags <laughs> with his that neck was, brace. That was something two right. weeks ago. On the podcast, one of you made the, the generic white guy comment, and I, I I started laughing in my car. I don't know who said it. I think it might have been Brian, but yeah, generic white guy. Uh, he could be, you know, in that crew. Um, yeah. But but no, uh, I just don't know. Uh, you know, I've we we can rewind uh, all outside a couple of years ago, man. I was more excited for Adam Cole than than anybody. Yeah, you know, obviously injuries fucking suck and. The fact that Tony Khan isn't, you know, creative enough to do something other than the Undisputed Era. Like, come on. Uh, This is creative. This is something that is fun and entertaining. But don't do the obvious. That's all I'm asking. Don't do the obvious. Give us something new. I love the the bromance vignettes. I love the the Adam Cole making him play video games and MJF <laughs> right. just being disgusted that he I'm has probably gonna watch like I'm gonna nerd. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it tonight after we it's get done it. here. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I won't give any more details than to, to spoil it for you. No, no, don't mean um, it's cool. Yeah. No, it's just great. I want him to stay in the team. Guys, I like I thought about this and that is like some of my favorite things in wrestling is oddball tag teams. Tag teams that aren't supposed to go together that go together is some of my favorite things. I'm talking Booker T and Goldust. I'm talking Al Snow and Steve Blackman. Yes. <laughs> I'm talking Raiden RK Bro. That's like some of my favorite things in wrestling is like, oh, another one. Um, back in NXT when it was Pete Dunn, he's now known as Butch, Pete Dunn and Riddle. Those two together, like we're oil and water. That's some of my favorite things. So I uh, hope Austin, nobody Austin and Dude turns. Love. Austin yeah, Dude Love, yeah, that's another good, good one. Triple H, so, yeah. Steve Austin. Let them roll the with two it. Two man power trip. Yep. Let them roll with it. I I want them to win this tournament, win the tag titles. I hope this goes for like a year, and then sure, somebody's gonna turn on someone because that's wrestling. But don't end this in like the next couple of weeks. I love cheesy ridiculous you know <laughs> adam cole it's your birthday happy birthday to you you know like, i love this shit I, it, it's bringing out mjf and a goofy light. i love but it don't but if you're gonna do the goofy shit this is this is kurt angle cowboy hat shit yes um don't call yourself the devil i don't want my <laughs> devil singing show tunes yeah i don't want yeah, my gotcha. devil being goofy like this <laughs> no no, thanks. That's fair. Joe, did you weigh on this weigh in on this one? I don't remember. You did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh yeah, you I did. said right. I, I said MJF was gonna turn on it, uh, Adam Cole, set up something all right. in or all out. We'll remember those comments always. Also, blood and guts. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Sorry. That's, Leave that's, the memories alone. I know, I know. Uh Blood and Guts is next week, the third edition. Uh your mystery partners pack. For the Blackpool Combat Club and Kota Ibushi for the Elite, making it the Golden Elite. Uh, do these choices do anything for you? No, but the Golden Bullet Club IPA. So we do have a Golden we have Bullet, a golden yeah, Bullet, Bullet Club, Club Gold, IPA. Golden Elite. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, I have a list. <laughs> 
Ooh. I actually stole this off Twitter. With Abushi's debut coming next week, there are 47 talents under contract that have not worked a match on weekly programming or pay-per-view in the last three months. Now, some oh are injured. God. One yeah. is pregnant. Let me run this list down for you. Oh God. Abaddon. 47. Anthony Agogo hasn't been on TV in three I've years. Seen him forever. Yeah. <laughs> Billy Starks, he's that 18 year old phenom. Boulder and Bronson, the Bears. Uh, Brandon Cutler, Brock Anderson, Christopher Daniels, Cole Carter, Colt Cabana, Danhausen, Dante Martin, um, Griff Garrison. Okay, this is way too many. I'm only going to go through the ones that matter to me. Yeah. Uh, Lance Archer has not been on TV yeah. since February. Wow. Um, Matt Taven has not been on TV since March. Um, Pack just came back recently. Right. Ortiz hasn't been on TV since March. Uh, Paul, well, who the fuck cares about Paul White? Peter Avalon, one that I do care about because of my LA ties. Um, Red Velvet, Santana, my guy, Satnam Singh hasn't been on TV since April. Um, Sonny Kiss has not been on TV since August 10th, 2022. Wow. Unreal. Well, we need, some, we need unreal. some missing milk jugs out here. The Bunny, Thunder Rosa, and uh, Zach Clayton, a.k.a. Jay Wow's boyfriend from the Jersey Shore. Now, uh, we get it. Kota Bushi is high up there. But, man, they couldn't have done something with one of those guys that – or girls that, you know, have not had any anything in, in months or years in some case. Lance Archer would have been Lance, nice exactly. Choice. Lance oh. Archer, exactly. That would have been like you know th- that would have been a choice where the Blackpool Combat Club would be intimidated by Lance Archer yeah. joining up yeah. with them. That's a good call. That's an intimidation and, factor. That and, would have been a better choice. You want to propel someone? Have him. Oh. Have him go f- exactly win. <laughs> this is yeah, Tony. So I had seen, Tony, I'd Tony seen goes an idea. For the, Oh, go ahead, Kevin. Oh, Sorry. Nope, you got it. Nope, you did. I'd seen an idea floated around of Wardlow joining ba- Blackpool Combat Club. Get, get him in head. Head. Yes! He's been, he's been nothing for however long now since he lost the whatever TNT title again. And I don't seven, think he's, he's lost about so. 17 times. Yeah. I, mean, I was like, that could be good. Mm. Now, now, was the thought to have Wardlow join Blackpool permanently or just for the match? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't remember either way, but either, I mean, I still love the I idea mean, of you know heel Wardlow. I think for that's that a good choice to be part of the Blackpool Combat Club. He fits. He makes sense. He's a former WWE guy, exactly, and a tough guy. He's someone you wouldn't mess with. I think, and yeah, I think he was a yeah. good choice. But the nah. it's just Kota Bushi. I mean, it, it was way too predictable. Way too. I mean, Kenny said, "Oh, I've got some friends in Japan." Well, no shit. Yeah, we knew it was either going to be him or Okada. Um, yeah. If I think if Danielson didn't break his arm, we could have had Okada. I bet join mm, that team. I see that? Yeah, I like Kota Ibushi a lot. I haven't seen a ton of his stuff, but one of my favorite matches was when WWE did the Cruiserweight Classic, and he was in that. And him and uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Cedric Alexander. Alexander. Alexander, thank you. They put on a fabulous, fabulous match. Go back and watch that one if you haven't mm. yet. And him and him and Pack are very similar, where they're they're big strikers and big aerial guys. So I, I think it'll be fun. You know, maybe just a one shot deal with the Bushi. I don't know. Um, so I, I'm at least and that's interested the problem. In seeing it's a one shot deal. They have a roster full of people who would love to have that one shot to move on from instead of just yeah. having. We'll bring someone else in to join my fig fed and I'm going to put them back on the shelf because I just borrowed it from my neighbor. I mean, at least with me and my one shot deal, you guys aren't bringing somebody from the outside. You're just going to tough it out as a three man unit until I come back in a month. So spoiler, we got Coda next week. <laughs> the, the day after blood and guts, you got Kota Bushi sitting in my chair. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Oh no, we got we got Cody Abushi. It's his <laughs> fourth cousin. <laughs> oh no, terrible. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, look, I think that they had. I mean, look, they had to scramble. You know, I thought it would have been fun if, uh, you know, I don't know and and don't tell me, but if the um, 
Callus Jericho connection became a thing. Why not have Jericho join the Blackpool Combat Club as a former WWE guy, a guy that's with Callus with uh, Take a Shitta? I mean, it it would, mm-hmm. it would Jericho could work too, but you know he he doesn't have much luck in the uh, blood guts match. You know, I remember you know falling off into the ball pit two years oh, ago. The ball pit that so. that was an all time rant. By you, that was <laughs> <laughs> that was on the greatest hits compilation for sure. Oh, uh, unbelievable! Between the camera shots that you know they were in picture in picture, and they're just kind of like hanging, like oh, we no one yeah. can see me. It's like come on, it's the I don't know, I don't know. Um, did it? Was there uh, any women's stuff from Dynamite notable this week? Yeah, um, they're doing what the Owen Hart tournament. Yeah, so, Ruby made it. Ruby made it to the finals last week, right? Ruby made it to the finals uh, last night over Sky Blue. Um, oh, oh, okay. She beat yeah, yeah. The, with shenanigans. She beat Britt last week. So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So I think it's her, and then there's a match on Rampage, and to figure out the final, and then they'll do the uh, winner. At collision is my uh, understanding. Oh wow! I wonder. I wonder if. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if in the new AEW Fight Forever game there is a collision stage yet. Being that the show just debuted. And speaking of AEW Fight Forever, Barbara Ryan's here. What's up, hey. dude? Look at this what guy. What's going on, guys? The beard is up, Ryan. Nice. That's what dude, I was going to say. It. I saw Ryan two weeks ago and the beard's even more magnificent than i wow. remember can you do this like the anvil place yes sir awesome yeah well we wanted to have ryan on we've been trying to set this up for a little bit because when i did get my my cut with him a couple of weeks ago he's like dude i just downloaded aew fight forever um, getting ready to play it. I'm like, well, let's have you on to, to talk a little bit about it. And he's he's had some transitions in, in his life. You can see behind him, he's got a, a new place, uh, which congratulations uh, oh, to, to you and your lady on that, Ryan. And the, the yeah, belt collection is proudly the display. on display, man. He, he has sent us some photos, some some really close photos. And uh, yeah, it's looking great, man. Looking Appreciate great. It. Yeah. How, how's everything with the move and everything? Everything feeling settled in and, and good? Oh, yeah. Got the uh, DVDs displayed. I got the belts displayed. I got the action <laughs> figures still in boxes. I got to figure out how I'm going to do that, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> you showed me, too, when I was at the shop, the video of just all the boxes upon boxes upon boxes of yeah, wrestling items. You're like, I have just, a problem. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah well, well, Ryan, I'm in that same boat, but oh, yeah, all of my stuff now is boxing in my garage in California because I moved. I'm in Pittsburgh now. Uh, I don't have an apartment, I'm getting a, I'm moving into my apartment in about a month. So, like, half the stuff that you know was my, my fun stuff is still in LA and it ain't coming back, uh, <laughs> until my wife moves whenever you know in the next year or so. But, um, yeah, you know, it's okay, we all have problems. Yeah. Uh, it's a great know, feeling to have it all I, in one place and unpaid. You know, you can use the following line uh, I use on uh, my wife. You know, when I, why do you need another pair of shoes? Why do you need this? Why do you need 10 more wrestling shirts? I'm like, well, I'm not putting the money up my nose or in a G-string. So I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> well, let, me, true. let me cash out that 20-shirt homage order right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, like, this is all <laughs> The, the, For you guys' anything... t-shirt, though, what are you wearing? I got my uh, Will Ospreay right. shirt on today. Hey, oh, look at that! The uh, pro wrestling crate. Yes, sir. I oh, uh, I, I canceled my pro wrestling crate because I was tired. Oh, of you did officially. T-shirts. Well, <laughs> that and after the AEW pay per view, I don't want to give them any more money. Uh, I was not happy <laughs> after uh, it was uh, double or nothing. I wasn't happy. Uh, For Vendor was good though. Yeah. Um, but I, I but Joe gave me the uh, the out that. I wasn't buying an AEW pay-per-view. I was buying a New Japan pay-per-view. Co-promoted, uh, yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. so, um, but yeah, I, and I was tired of the micro-brawlers sucking, like Matt Seidel. Yeah. yeah. Like, get the I, fuck out of here. So I was done. Dude, I give those to some of my, like, the kids that come in and get haircuts. I'll just give them to them and they go nuts. <laughs> so it works out perfect. Oh, Jason I, will give us those at Christmas. 
I will buy. Yeah, we'll get those in the crates. <laughs> <laughs> well, there may not be a crate because all my shit's in LA. So you may get Jay, one did, item at Christmas this year. So, Jay, did anything ever come of Mel Kipper's offer of getting those shirts to Guatemala? Whatever happened to that? <laughs> <laughs> That's still in the works. No. Okay. No, no. Oh, I right. um, I brought a tote of shirts that I p- would wear, mostly homage wrestling shirts, uh, a few, you know, regular shirts. But like I said, man, I'm kind of limited on everything right now. You know, with this move, you know, until we figure out what's going on with the rest of my life. Yeah. A lot of all my shit's staying in L.A. for the most part. Um, but no, nah. uh, as far as Mel Kipper, I don't know where the fuck you found that guy. <laughs> Is this because it's your wife's? Cousin. My wife's it, like, yeah, third cousin removed. Fuck, man. Yeah, no more. Nepotism on this show. That's you know, terrible. Get, terrible. You know, get, get the, the Winhurst uh, AI next time. <laughs> Please. Yes. I love it. Fucking yes. whoa. Now, why is care. that? Right? That's the move. Why is that? Is yeah. Like so, but we brought uh, Ryan on the podcast yeah. to talk about AEW Fight Forever. Now, Kevin is the big gamer. And Kevin, I'm surprised yeah. you don't have this yet. Well, I was about to ask Ryan. PS5, is it worth it? Xbox PS5. One X or Switch? What do you have it for? I have it for PS5. Um, my girlfriend has a Switch that I'm about to just confiscate and download it on so I can play it at work between clients or something. But it's <laughs> it's worth it's good. I like it. Okay. Really? Okay. So Kevin, uh, you were you you played all those uh those early games, right? Because this one's based kind of like No Mercy, right, Ryan? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty similar. Kevin, were you a no, no mercy guy back in the day? I was a no mercy guy, and I and I have not put these away from like a year and a half ago when I have my oh, wow. WCW NWO revenge. Yes. Dude, I got <laughs> my, mine right over there as well. My, my <laughs> WF War Zone. Wow. My WCW versus NWO World Tour. Oh my, my god! You had them. My WrestleMania 2000 is in a crate. You had them right uh, there and ready. <laughs> oh, it, it, we, I, I, because we I did like a five count on video games a year ago and he cleaned his office since. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. But I, I like the arcade because it's simple. Yeah, that's, you'd love it. That's, then. that's the best thing. So, like, I want to ask you, like, is it like those nostalgic, like, N64 style games where it's like hold, grapple, yeah, exactly, press a button, po- like, body slam? Like, h- how yeah, is that? play? Each, uh, there's quite a few wrestlers on there, and they also made it to where you only buy the game once instead of every year, and they'll continue to add updates to it and wrestlers oh, and more stuff nice. like that, which is pretty cool. They got Dan Housen coming on there, which I'm really excited for. Um, there's a whole bunch of DLC coming out for it, and uh, as far as the gameplay goes, it's pretty similar. Uh, you can pick up and play with some friends. It took me a few minutes to adjust from uh, 2K23 to AEW, but... <laughs> now I haven't went back to WWE. It's just been fun playing this all over again. It's it's pretty good. Uh, I was like, is there? Any... I... Oh wow! Go ahead. We're, all yeah, we're, yeah, all we're all excited. We're all excited. That's 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 the positive thing. Like, have you played online against no, against I, anybody? Online who... stresses me out way too much. Because <laughs> like, because people are just those, it's unbelievable. Because those nerds are playing twenty four hours a yeah. day. Yeah. I'll know, play I... multiplayer with like friends locally, and that's fun. That's it's yeah. just like sixty four being on the couch, four controllers, Mountain Dew everywhere. Oh. You know? Mountain Dew, but now it'll be Mountain yeah. Dew Pitch Black. Yes, yes. <laughs> they still make that. No, I was going to ask about I the online. I was going to ask about the online play as well. And, and Ryan, you're right. I don't play online with people I don't know because I don't need an eight year old from Idaho telling me to go fuck yeah. my mom because he beat me in bad. So like, it's no so thanks. toxic, dude. It's it's yeah. it's like too stressful. I just like I'll play online with friends that have similar consoles and stuff like that, but strangers and like, bro, I just I can't. It's too Is stressful. This a- is this a cross-platform game yet? No. Or is it? No, no. not yet. No, That's unfortunately. And, and, you know, they got the right idea with just, uh, one, you know, buy it once. You know, maybe for like three years, then they put out Fight Forever 2. But, like, I like the idea of just That's adding. That's my rule. The yeah, it, well, rule. yeah, exactly. In a couple of years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So Keep smoothing um, stuff out. Yeah, so uh, I had read, and I don't know if this was true or if this was just somebody, some idiot put online that, they have a uh, anarchy in the arena move where it's like thirty wrestlers. Was that true or was that just made up? I no, I think so. So far, I've done a bunch of like um, exploding death matches and stuff, and that's that's pretty fun. <laughs> um, I haven't really gotten into the mini games yet, but there's a lot like, about the cool mini games. Wait, yeah, yeah, to- yeah what's that? Uh, you can, there's like a like a road to uh, double or nothing kind of thing, um, like kind of like a, so like I try to 
uh, like No Mercy, when you could select a player and you could do a storyline and it goes and goes and goes. And if you win or lose, it goes different directions. Oh. Um, it's kind of like that, or Road to the Elite, that's what it's called. And it's kind of fun. You can tell it's their first run through of the game. There's like four weeks between each kind of thing you can do to like visit restaurants or take snapshots of like local scenery, uh, train in the gym, little things like that. You can do a dark match, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, but the cool. next version will be an unbelievable game. Like this one's really fun. So with that road to elites, I saw something online that annoyed the fuck out of me. Uh, there was a thing where Jeff Hardy got arrested. I, I haven't got, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I've seen that. I haven't played as Hardy yet. That's gotta be I've fake. A few times. Uh, well, <laughs> it was funny fake. though. I've seen it. And then the other thing. Yeah, it's very sad. And, you know, Tony Khan could have easily had that pool. There's no reason that should happen. That can't be real. It, it's got, know, it's yeah. got to be fake. That I'm calling bullshit. I, I've that, seen the screenshots. Like, there somebody was took, like, Grand with, Theft Auto or some shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. There was a eerie one with Eddie Guerrero in, like, SmackDown oh, no. 2006 mm-hmm. or seven, oh, whatever it Trish? was. No, and it was Undertaker. Eddie and like under yeah Undertaker. Yeah, like, it was like, and it was like, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was pretty bad Undertaker. timing. Yeah, Undertaker's right. like, let's have a threesome. Like, oh, <laughs> and, then, and any other thing I didn't that I saw that when they, you, I think there's a create a wrestler where you can create your move set. Uh, they the F five is called diverticulitis, <laughs> yeah. which is bullshit. <laughs> that is they so it was fucking a low play class. on um, Kevin Steen's old Ring of Honor movie used to call it diverticulitis or something like that. But yeah, wow. I agree. Yeah. I read that. I'm just like, bro. All right, Lesnar turned you down, probably. So just don't. And he almost salty. died. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He almost like it's died yeah. from diverticulitis, and you're going to do this? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, right. I've thing. got, I've got two questions. Is there, is yeah. there one wrestler you've really enjoyed playing the most? Nice. And number two, I have seen a lot of amazing glitches. Um, I remember showing Joe and Kevin, I think a week or so ago, there was a ladder match, and whoever it was did a suplex, and it went like invisible through the ladder and then through the ring to nobody <laughs> have, favorite wrestler that any have you had any amazing glitches by chance uh only a few glitches nothing super crazy okay um, all right favorite favorite wrestler so far i've i just love malachi black i like his moveset oh, kicks punches nice. his uh what's it black mass i don't know what it's called in aw now but yeah. his spin kick it's just it's quick and like in the casino battle Royals and stuff, you can spin kick them and they just go right over the top rope. So it's, it's oh, a pretty wow. efficient finisher. There is some cool things that I did notice that you have to unlock. Um, you have to do a certain storyline with the dark order to unlock Brody Lee, which I just did last night. Oh, and that's pretty cool. cool. And then there's a Paul white thing where you have to beat him in three minutes. And like Jesus the only way you can do is a count out. So it's, it's so frustrating, but I got the yeah. Brody Lee. I'm nah, working we're on Paul good. White. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he didn't do anything. He was QT Marshall one match. <laughs> oh, I know. Right? <laughs> that guy well, he said Marshall he insists match, he's you know? going to do something as Captain Insano. They have the rights to it. There's going to be a, a, there's going to be yeah, an he AEW acclaim video. <laughs> What's that? He was on the acclaim video as Captain yeah. Insano. It was like a cameo. Uh, yeah, it was a rap uh, video for the acclaim. Oh, just, yeah, the that. acclaimed video. Yes, yes, yeah. Are the yeah, acclaimed that, that in fun. the game? No, they've been announced for DLC what? at some point, though. Okay. Remember, this game like, was like made two years ago. Yeah, oh, they right. There's Cody Rhodes is in it. <laughs> Cody's in it. I remember WWE hearing that they kept him. with yeah. Cody yeah. came out before the AEW game with Cody. Jeez. Yep. Yeah. It's cool. I'm glad he's in it. It's a good character to have, you know, added. Yeah. Is yeah. Punk in there? Punk's yeah, in yeah, there. Punk's in there. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's got a pretty solid roster. It's you know a yeah. little outdated, but you can still have fun with it. And with the upcoming DLC, like Hook's yeah. going to be in it. Uh, FTR is in it in this current version right here. Um, it's it's pretty good. Tag matches are pretty fun. Uh, the, like I said, the exploding barbed wire match is kind of cool. They got like different weapons, uh, like brooms with barbed wire wrapped all over it. The blood is crazy too, which is pretty awesome. Okay, thanks. I've seen some of those screenshots. It's a little, yeah, it's a lot. It's so. yeah, they they kind of were in some hot water with that uh, rating for a while, and gladly yeah. they got that taken care of. But so- it's it's worth it. I'd say check it out. Okay, so a stadium excellent. stampede currently available, or is that going to be a DLC? Because I saw that's 30 people. I think it might be DLC because I okay. haven't really seen it. Or um, It seems really like it's like a Fortnite. It's very similar to what Fortnite is. Uh, that's where I think that – I think it's a smart play to do it. Like, you know, Call of Duty starting to do that stuff now where, you know, it's like open world. 
So if they're going to do Anarchy in the Arena or Stadium Stampede with 30 wrestlers, that makes cool. sense. It makes sense. Um, the mini games look cool. I just haven't really got to get messed with them. I have the main menu brought up here, and the only thing really new uh, is Casino Battle Royal and Exploding Barbed Wire Deathmatch. And there's a few mini games and training things that are kind of fun. But as of right now, I don't see the Stadium Stampede to answer that question. Gotcha. Well, okay. maybe in the future, you know, we'll. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, I'm debating, you know, I was at GameStop the other day and I have a switch and yeah, it was in the store and I looked at it and I'm like, you know, what? I think it'd be kind of fun on the switch, man. I think you'd have a blast just because you can do one on one matches and just mess around with it. You know, if you're bored, I airport. just got so much, I just got so much going on, man. Like I'm on that yeah. college student uh, budget of like $5 breakfasts, you know, Brian, you know, you always told stories about Taco Bell was like, 10 tacos oh, yeah. for like 39 cent taco <laughs> day, yeah. day box. Back day in the box, day, baby. baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, so I'm yeah. living that life right now until the paychecks start coming in regularly and stuff. But um, yeah, I uh awesome. the game for me, like I said, I'm just I'm just not too high on AEW right now. Um, and I suck at the WWE game. So, but if this one is more user friendly, if it, you know, than like the old school games, that that it's- has me a little more intrigued than you know, what a 2K would. The graphics aren't terrible, and where they sacrifice the graphics, they make up the gameplay, I, I personally think. Like, IGN roasted it with, like, 6.0 out of 10. But, like, I, but, you gotta, if you're a wrestling fan, you're going to see it differently. You know, you're going to have fun yes. with it a different way. Hardy's all the it, FTRs in it. Like, you is all the so music? Fun. Is all the music the real yeah, music? Yeah. Most of the music's in there. The entrances are kind of lame. They're like 15 seconds, but they have all the music. And there's also an extra bunch of Acclaim tracks that Max Caster raps on. And oh, it's, and they're pretty. Yeah, they're pretty cool. It's like six. Which is weird being that he's not in the game. Right. right. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so, get there, so, what, so what they make up in, say, like resolution frame rates pretty good then? Yeah, it's okay. It's, nice. I, they make it so anybody can play it. And it truly is like that. Like if you're a hardcore gamer, you just turn you know, the difficulty up and have fun with it. But Pick up and play is easy once you get the controls down. They're just a little different from you know traditional games like WWE and stuff like that. But to me, it's a fun alternative. Uh, the roster is fun and fresh to play with too because WWE always had all the creative players, kind of chunky, not as yeah. smooth looking. But I mean, everybody's got the right tattoos. Everybody's got the cool entrances. Adam Cole does the Bay Bay thing with all the crowd nice. going crazy, and it's just the little nuances are pretty cool. I've been described as that too, like kind of chunky but smooth. That's a good description <laughs> for me too. I, so I know like, this game would be a good one. Um, Perusing cheese t-shirt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> chunky but smooth. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a gimmick for me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> shaking his head. Um, nah, any other questions? Net. Get the- yeah, yeah, maybe it's coming up here. <laughs> hey, Ryan, you want to stick around? Chunky but smooth. Yeah, I got a couple minutes. Yeah, we you can talk stick around. I know. I think we're. Summer summer is it mailbag we're time? Do, um, yeah, mailbag. We're gonna mailbag. We got some questions mm. from uh, the listeners, from the viewers, and and Jason is making a special appearance here on his birthday uh, to give yeah. us those those questions, and we'll we'll provide some answers before we wrap up the show here. So the oh. first one is from Keith Hurley, and I don't know if that's Kevin's oh, friend or that's, just some that's, gu- that's my buddy. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, it says it's a great and hard time to be a wrestling fan these days. You see the same tropes from both major companies over and over. Storylines recycled and reused. Recently, Kevin Nash threw some shade at LA Knight for copying The Rock. I think it's about time someone brings back the type of things that made the Attitude Era great. What are your thoughts on this? I personally have, I personally am tired of having the same persona of I'm a badass, respect me. Uh, I don't like that, Keith. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about Roman. Uh, That most of the current era wrestlers seem to have, there needs to be some variety. Um, Ryan, what do you think about Keith's comments? I'm so sorry. I was reading the chat and getting ready to add Kevin. Up Brian, what do you think about Keith? <laughs> Brian, what about Keith? <laughs> he's spoke, he's like, got, a, he's got another cut coming like, up. I didn't know I was part now, of this. I was like, like, to give like, his asshole Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah I, I think but, Keith, I will say, I think there's a decent uh, amount of variety. Uh, so I think there's a little something for everybody, but to address what he said about Kevin Nash, I mean, Listen, I, I I thought the same thing organically of like, boy, there's a little bit of rock and there's a little bit of stone cold in the way this guy, L.A. Knight, talks. But I think, listen, it's been over 20 years since their heyday. There's got to be a statute of limitations. If this was 
a year, maybe even five years after, I'd probably go, oh, come on. What are you doing? Guys, it's been over 20 years. Everything in wrestling gets recycled. So Mm -hmm. I'm not saying Kevin Nash is wrong, but I mean, it's been over two decades, guys. These guys, Rock and Austin, aren't walking through that door every week. LA Knight is on fire right now, so I'm all for it. All right, the next one is from the cousin of Van Hammer. Uh, it's signed Slam Hammer. Oh. <laughs> what type of therapy bills do you think Dwayne Johnson has paying right now? His cousins are feuding, his daughter's in a cult, and Black Adam was so bad that he had to go back to the Fast and Furious <laughs> movies. First time, long time, I'll take the answer off the air. <laughs> wow. Slam Hammer. Um, yeah, that's uh, interesting that all that stuff is happening. And, you know, he doesn't refer to anything in wrestling, and hardly ever. So Don't forget the XFL didn't have a great year either. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. kidnapping, kidnapping charge against him? Who? Of Cornette? With no, Jim against Cornette The too? Rock. What a way. Cornette got, sued by, Cornette got sued by somebody uh, in TNA. I forgot the lady's name, but she was suing, like, everyone for a kidnapping case. It was, Whoa, I don't uh, know about this. Uh, Cornette went into it on his podcast. I don't. Uh, uh, All right. Rocka, Rocka Khan, is that? Oh, that yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the name. Impact. Yeah. I, Wait, I, mm-hmm. Rocka Khan was Kurt Angle's girlfriend that he chased around a Starbucks in Pittsburgh and Brian's friends with Angle's lawyer. Oh, yeah. it's true. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. No, it's, it's true. Damn true. <laughs> it's damn true. <laughs> um, yeah. All right, the next one. Uh, MJF and Cole. I don't think we answered the question. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the question was. <laughs> Google Rock Khan. But, but just to mention, uh, uh, it is. Sorry, Rock- sorry Slam Hammer. Rock Khan, uh, one of the defendants, is uh, Dwayne. Not the Rock question. Johnson. Yeah, she sued oh, everyone. Okay. Like, yeah. Wow. Michael Jordan. Like, like, wow. like, it, was, like it, was it was insane. It was insane. Seriously, look into it. I can't. Oh, my God. Hold okay. up. Hold up. So, if she's suing everyone, Jason Marchuka is also different. That's why I have a podcast in two weeks. Allegedly. Like with legal yeah, so, yeah. Allegedly. Okay. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. All allegedly. Allegations. Right. Leave the state. All right. So this one is from Mitt in Blackburg, Virginia. As <laughs> dumb as this mystery tag team partner tournament is, the one bright spot is MJF and Adam Cole. Do you think they win the – do you think they will end up winning the titles? What do you want to happen with them after the tournament? Um, we talked about this earlier on the show, but um, Ryan – what would you think – what do you want to happen after this tournament with MJF and Adam Cole? Ryan, it's, the question – and yeah, just yeah. to narrow it down even more. The question I asked the boys was three choices. MJF and Cole remain friends for a long time. MJF turns on Cole or Cole turns on MJF. What do you want to see of those three? I want MJF to go straight devil looking at some point, but – uh, I don't know. I, I like them in the tag team tournament. It like gives a fresh kind of team that's fun to watch, you know, kind of like rock and sock kind of vibes. Thank um, you. Yes. Yeah. We've but got them. I, I like Jay and juice too. I, and they just got a pinfall win over FTR. So they're the next up, aren't they? So it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm all in any way it goes, but to answer the other one, I would love them to have just to pop Adam Cole and just <laughs> nuclear heat. All right. The next one, uh, this is subject. Where is Jason? I know SRS broke the news. Jason was leaving the show for a while, but if yes, he did you talk to him and what is his deal? The show has been great without him. And I'm not sure if he needs to come back. Oh. Wow. Can we get an update? That's that's signed Joe and Toledo. No, I did not. I did not do <laughs> that. <one>. Sylvania. <laughs> oh, my fault. Yeah. My, wow. Sylvania. Yeah. That's, that's a mother Joe. I swear that's I did not do that one. Joe's wow. like, hey, I'm Joe in LA guys. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm West right. Coast Hollywood over here. Uh, Hollywood wow. Joe. That's hurtful. Um, well, what a jerk. Yeah, I'm not answering that one. Um, <clears throat> I'm not answering that one. Uh, in all, okay, fine. What I'll the answer. fuck? In all, in another all one. Honesty, another one. In all honesty, the show has not been better without Jason. The show has been different without Jason. Jason makes the show go well. Wow. So don't, That's don't, I'm, you, you see what you got me doing? I'm defending Jason. Well, this, guys besties? This West, well, this West Coast there is making me all chill. Well, what's funny, Joe? The next email was for you, oh. and it says, with Jason being out, do you think it should remain a show with three people? Wow. <laughs> did you write that one, too? Like, fuck. No, I did not. But you just answered it, so we're, not, we're done with that. Uh, Brian, for you. Hey. Yeah. 
Have you started the negotiations yet with your wife? If there is indeed oh, a midday on. start for WrestleMania, <laughs> <to be fair. laughs> Uh, that's what made me, I got time. That's what made me laugh last that's week. So it. Ryan, All right. so Ryan, on last week's show, they were talking about if WrestleMania goes to London for two days, um, Brian will have to negotiate how he can watch both days with his wife. And this was yeah. this person wrote. So Brian, have the negotiation started? Has your legal team reached out to hers to just start discussing <laughs> negotiations to make this happen? Yes. There's going to be some conditions and draft like picks right. to uh, remain uh, to be named later and cash considerations. Unreal. Yeah, I, Brian, I don't know if I handled it. The, for two days. Yeah, I, I I don't know if I handled it the right way. I, I meant not so much like my wife, as Borat would say, um, but like this is life, guys. I, I've got something that none of y'all have. I've got two kids. So three o'clock on a Saturday or Sunday <clears throat> isn't always that free. One day I can, I, it's a, not a problem to say, Hey, it's WrestleMania. Sorry. Two days, a little more challenging. I want to be there for my kids. If they've got dance lessons or swim class or whatever they got going on. That's, that was more when I thought about it later, the angle that I was trying to say, rather than just my wife will kill me. <laughs> so I'm going to give he you a still may, but I'm, I'm just saying. I'm going to give you a recommendation. You have at minimum eight months to get your kids liking wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. It is the best. That's true. I will tell you this Friday nights. When I pick up Brett from day camp or school, all he wants to do win SmackDown, you know, it's eight o'clock. He's like, I know, but how many hours it's a countdown. It's the best thing. That's great, man. Best thing in the world. He's like, when's Rampage? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's like, what's Rampage? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honey, it's bedtime for daddy, too. But, Yeah, no, come but, on. But you, you had Harper watch it a little bit. Yes. Continue yeah, it. she watched That's some a, a couple weeks ago and had a, a funny line when Finn Balor attacked Seth Rollins from behind, and she was like, why did he do that? That's rude. She's going to go like... like Daddy, the bad what, guy, honey. What's Charlotte Flair wearing? What can I see? Oh, I know. I know. Uh, yeah, that's that 70s couch. That's what my <laughs> wife does. My wife is like, yeah. what are they wearing? What is this? What's up with her hair? I mean, we were at WrestleMania. I mean, we were so close that like she really could get into that and see what these men and women. I think there was an Oscar thing where she was like, what the hell is that? So, yeah. Um, and that's not what she sounds like, but she doesn't listen. So she won't hear me say it like that. So uh, I'm good. And finally, uh, one that actually has something to do with pro wrestling and not us. Do you think Brian Pillman Jr. would make a good NXT addition since he's in on the AEW roster anymore? Or should he just hit the indies? I think um, I think he's NXT bound. It makes sense to get someone with name value uh, on the NXT roster. Anybody else? I think so. I, I, I agree. I can actually see him maybe pop up on that GCW right yeah, before SummerSlam yeah, for, for yeah. some for some name value. Uh, but if he can make it in NXT or, or get his shot, that'd be huge. i like to see him in NXT, but I'd like to see him not being such a nice guy. I think that was the uh, thing that hurt him in AEW. He was too nice of a guy throughout every single time he was on there. Even when they tried to make him like Varsity Blondes as a heel, he was playing as such a nice guy that I think he needs to have not his dad, he doesn't need to be the loose cannon, but he needs yes, to have a little bit of edge to him. No, so you're he saying he needs to, so, so Jason, you're saying he has to have a gun. Yes. <laughs> no, don't rehash. <laughs> He's that. just gonna come like, out to the ring. A bigger, a bigger gun. <laughs> than his dad. No, I think I, he, I, the he biggest gun. Bigger bigger gun. Nice guy. That was that was his that was his uh problem. I'm looking it up. I, I'm what looking. What are you looking up? How old? What are you looking up? He is. Doesn't matter unless, on, unless any of you guys know it off. I, the top no, of I'm I'm gonna guess no. he was like 29, 24. Oh, um, but I see the thing is, guys, years ago, so that would be impressive. If 29. he, if he, well, look at that, get some right Nailed sometimes. It. But um, you know, they they brought on the Rock's daughter in NXT, and she's not the Rock's daughter. She's exactly. Ava Rain, and she's in some cult. So I don't think you know. I could see him coming. And having some sort of completely different than I'm just Brian Pullman's kid. So not like that's legacy. Just, that's what they do. Okay, legacy. so let's, yeah. let's no yeah. legacy type let's, stuff. Let's give Brian Pillman an NXT name. 
I'll go first. Oh, God. Ryan Knapp. Oh, wait, sorry. That's, that's already taken. <laughs> In honor oh, of International <laughs> Heat, our guy Simon, Brian Pillman Jr. will now be known as Rip Snorter. Rip Snorter yeah. is an Australian term. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. I love Rip Snorter. Nate. I, I, I keep trying to come up and use Rip Snorter in my everyday vocabulary, that and, and Kraken. Uh, but yeah, so uh, Brian Pillman Jr. will now be known as Rip Snorter for me. How about how about Gunner uh, Cannon? Because <laughs> of the, the gun is the loose cannon, Gunner Cannon. <laughs> See what I did there? No. Uh, that's awesome. That was like what was what was fucking um, you know, what was you, Mr. You Perfect really? son's name? Curtis Axel, right? Yeah, you know, that, that's the yeah. vibe I'm going for. <laughs> Michael McGillicuddy. Larry, yeah, Larry the Axe yeah. Henning. They did the Curtis Axel. That's that's the vibe I was going for with the one time Gunner Cannon. Champion. You know yes, what really yes. confused people? Respected. Call him Brian. <laughs> call him Brian Steiner. Like Brian Breaker versus <laughs> Brian Steiner. That would. <laughs> I say that just would be for, good. Forget a generation. Brian Pillman the third. There you go. <laughs> just, they're just they're skipping over the junior. He skipped over. Wow. Yep. Uh, wow. He was an all right. AEW. Is that it then, Jay? <laughs> yeah, that's all. That's all. all right. I'm glad uh, I'm glad I came back for that. Fuck, you guys couldn't have yeah. questions at that wrestlepod oh. at gmail.com DMs and social media at that wrestlepod. Uh, I'm not gonna be back for like another month. So you have a month to start building up these questions for the next mailbag when I'm back. But man, um, God, I thought, uh, right. that one was hurtful jane fuck <laughs> and surprisingly joe came to my aid. i know and you yeah and you know what, jane, you, jane you made me defend jason now i'm pissed at you oh, but no seriously man. though you guys do a great job without me and there are times i'm like yeah maybe they don't need me maybe i need my own spinoff um oh. so <laughs> you know maybe that's the that's the that. road to go but you, you know, know what, yeah. TWP? Are you the wolf, you the wolf pack of TWP? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the then Kevin, you're no. joining, right? Kevin, I'm you're doing. joining. You'll be the Conan of that. I will be the Conan. <laughs> hey, dog. <laughs> uh, so, uh, real quick, you guys, I know with SummerSlam right around the corner, uh, the big news that Jeff Hardy is going to be at GCW. Wow. Amazing. Did you see the tweets about uh, somebody said, you're bringing Jeff Hardy in and that whole roster does coke? And then Effie wrote back, yeah. Effie, some dumb fan that doesn't know yeah. shit about GCW was like, yeah, the whole roster does coke, and you're going to bring Jeff Hardy there. Effie chimed in and goes, I've been a roster member for seven years, and that's not true. He's like, where are you getting your facts? And then the guy deleted his Twitter account. So um, yeah. Brian and Kevin are going to GCW. Ryan, are you going to We GCW? think so. Yeah, we'll see. No, I, I'm going <laughs> Let to – Let him um, answer. I'm going to the uh, We Watch Wrestling Live podcast at um, – Okay. The comedy uh, comedy store, I think, downtown. Oh, by oh, nice. uh, Hockey Town. Yeah, have a hockey oh, cool. Yeah, I think so. It's yeah, the same so- time, and we bought tickets before, and I'm like, these guys are funny, so I got to go yeah. check them out. But Very you cool. can attend the Jeff Hardy concert. That starts <laughs> at 11 at night oh, after God. the GCW is over. You have to buy a separate ticket for it. This is all legit, Joe. I'm not making this up. Jeff Hardy at – I'm not saying I, I've seen. I've seen, I know you're shaking your head, but I'm just making sure. I've seen I'm my Slayer. Head, so I'm, I'm, Googling, I'm Googling right now. <laughs> I've but seen Joe Slayer. Shit into my hands, I've seen, uh, into my ears. <laughs> I've seen Typo Negative. I've seen all these bands. And then Jeff Hardy, of all people. Um, but Joe, it's, the it's, Mr. Stage. it's the Mr. Allen's price. It's one for 29, two for 50. <laughs> yeah. 29, uh, that's 10 bucks. So there, there's, a video on, there's a video on TikTok of going around Jeff Hardy singing Black Hole Sun. Uh, go check it out. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's interesting. It's yeah. It's, no, it's so, going to be a lot bad. of fun here shaping up. Yeah. And, you know, uh, yeah. Joe and I, like I said, we're trying to figure out what the plan is for us. Um, but we'll definitely be at SummerSlam and, uh, you know, we'll be around and about, you know, just look at our SummerSlam video from last year. Now we won't have the, uh, we won't Here have the uh, Speedway dinner every night. Or uh, carry well, there, there's we better karaoke. not. There's probably <laughs> that karaoke. Means we did something wrong. There's probably karaoke somewhere in Detroit Friday night. Maybe, maybe. I mean, yeah. now that Madonna canceled her concert due to that's uh, true. 
Yeah, it's right. We're, we're playing, playing Little Caesars. Caesars. Yeah. We're playing we're, Little we're... Caesars. <laughs> I said Tony Khan should have a fucking rampage there the night before. Or Collision. You don't even get Collision on Saturday. Oh, Collision. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Very sweet. <laughs> to be AW, WWE fans fighting in the streets. Oh, They're my God. They're all going to be there for WrestleCon. You see uh, Bret Hart yeah. and the Acclaim just got announced, too. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see Ke- the Acclaim. That's Kevin awesome. jizzed in his pants I let, with Bret Hart uh, announced. Yeah, I let that. Kevin know about Bret Hart. <laughs> Kev, is that show. what are you thinking, man? Is this going to be it for you? I, that is a ten out of ten boner right there. <laughs> but like probably a two hundred dollar price tag. Oh, I'll, I'll look at him. That's 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 <laughs> just, oh, gaze from afar. It's only ten dollars to look, Kev. That's all the admission. Yeah. That's it. It is experiences. $10. Experiences. Ten dollars to get in is extremely. Yeah. It, it that is that is amazing. That's, that's it. Cheap. And that gives you a green light to buy some autographs or photo ops. Yep. That's awesome. Be rubbing elbows with Honky Tonk Man and everybody else. Is there. <laughs> nails is there. I saw nails. Yeah. It's like alphabet- alphabetical order, except for the guest elite. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I mean, Mantar was supposed to be there, but. Oh, rest in peace, Mantar. <laughs> rest in oh, peace, Mantar. God. Yeah. Wow. That sucks. That sucks. All right. Um, All right. This has been a banner show. Thank you guys all so much. Ryan, thanks for your AEW fight Anytime. forever. Thanks, dude. Insight. Anytime. That's amazing. I'll catch you guys at that Wrestle- Yeah, indeed, my friend. Uh, at that WrestlePod is for all the socials. We're on threads now, right, Jason? Um, uh, I don't know if I, anybody I, else is going to be I on I am threads. so tired of social media and these new... Yeah. We're on we threads. on it, and I think people are already off it from what I've read. So I it lasted know, about it, a week. Who knows? But whatever. But it was uh, it was cool of you to thank Ryan, but you can't thank me for making a special appearance. Happy birthday! I'm going to give you a yes, minute here. Happy, happy birthday, birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Should we sing to him? No. We no, are. Jason doesn't like sing a lot. You can watch the show. Happy Jason birthday. I was going to jump out of a cake. Uh, I'm going to be with the devil. So, <laughs> Ryan, I said earlier, I don't want my devil singing or singing happy yeah. birthday to people. It doesn't work for me. Be goofy. Be Kurt Angle wearing the cowboy hat. Just don't be the devil singing show tunes. doesn't work. Dude's, got, dude's got pipes. Yeah, Absolutely. but he's the devil. <laughs> but I get it, show yeah. tunes is the devil. So. I, I listen to uh, fucking uh, My Shadow and Me with Jericho Jesus and him Christ. once a month. It's amazing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not lying. All right, let's wrap it we up, know. guys. Thanks so much. Whatamadoo.net is for all your merchandise. Enjoy Chunky wrestling, everybody. Yes. Chunky Nuts move. <laughs> Thanks for watching That Wrestling Podcast on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And for more That Wrestling Podcast content, follow at That WrestlePod on social media.